day. Welcome back to my channel and another installation of Inktober. Today's word is ghost. Um, so I, I definitely had fun with this one, but this one was challenging in its own way. So this video is going to be a little different um, in that I'm going to talk a little bit more about my day and how, <laughs> how I struggled to complete um, this Inktober. So this video is a little bit longer and I'm going to talk a little bit more. So uh, sit down and get cozy. I have a cup of tea um, <laughs> and let's go. So first I'll talk about the idea for the sketch. First thing I thought of was a shirt I'd seen and the shirt had a little ghost on it and it said the only ghost here is the Holy Ghost and I love that and I totally would have wanted that for Halloween but the website was like yeah you had to order by such and such date. Oh whatever. So anyway, I still wanted to do something with the basic white sheet ghost. So I thought, how adorable would it be if this little octopus really wanted to go trick-or-treating and the best costume he could come up with was throwing a little sheet over his head. So that's what you're going to watch me draw. Um, there will be sped up versions, so it won't all be in slow-mo. But what made this particular one so challenging was today. So today my husband had to go somewhere and I worked from home and I took care of our lovely adorable little four month old baby and that was pretty challenging. <laughs> it was definitely fun. There was lots of giggles and laughs and well they're not really giggles they're like these little weird little noises she makes. Um but there was definitely a lot of like fun times and fun moments and then a lot of work that I had to do um, and a lot of back and forth. So with work, I wanted to have some undivided attention, but there were some things that just couldn't get done today. Uh, there was laundry that couldn't get done today and there were dishes that didn't get done today. Um, I sacrificed them so that I could attend meetings uh, while I rocked a baby on the side. So it was really challenging to... Um, carve out the time and have a schedule for my day. I didn't have a plan going into the day. You know, I'll be honest. I just was winging it. I was just like, you know, this is what I have to do today. These are the things I have to get done. And I just had to work towards those things when there was a moment. Um, my beautiful little daughter doesn't nap a lot. She is a good night sleeper, which is amazing. So I'm not complaining there. Um, but so we, I had, I knew that in the morning she would take a nap and later at night, those would be my two solid chances. So in the morning when she took a nap, I was like, great. I was like working, I was getting stuff done. Um, you know, it, it was beautiful. But then for the rest of the day, it was, you know, a little bit of like, let me get some work done. Oh, hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Okay, I need some work done. Oh, hi, baby. Hi, baby. All right, I got to go draw. <laughs> so um, I didn't even set up to do my Inktober until I uh, had to be like seven. I don't know. It was after dinner time. Um, and I know I totally got called out for saying like eight o'clock was late at night. Well, it's 10 o'clock now, so it's super late. <laughs> but um, so anyway, I didn't set up until after dinner time. And so since I had set up so late anyway, um, I was like, okay, well, maybe, you know, baby will take a little nap. Um, she sits in a chair next to me when I draw. Uh, that way I can, like, touch her and play with her and rock her chair. I can sing to her, talk to her, um, and she watches what I'm doing. So it's usually a content thing that we can do together. Uh, however, tonight was just not going her way. So um, there's a lot of breaks in the video where you'll see both of my hands go away. And, you know, I'm tending to her. And then there was a couple of points I cut out during the video where my hands go away for too long because I had to walk away. Uh, I tried to put her down for a nap, and it was a no-go. Um, then, you know, halfway through drawing, I we actually went outside and sat on the porch, and we watched the rain, and, you know, that soothed her for a while. But, you know, coming into the nighttime, you know, my work was done, and I really wanted to get this uh, hammered out. It was challenging. So, um... Not to just complain about myself, but now, like, the the other thought of that is, wow, like, I had just one day, and my husband stays home with her every day, and he gets his work done, and he cleans the house, and he does laundry. <sighs> I don't know how he does it, folks. I don't know. I don't know how he does it. So, um, 
I was just like in awe today thinking about all the things that my husband is able to accomplish um, when I'm at work during the day. Now, granted, that's, you know, I do come home and, and help, but usually by the time I come home, he's kind of done the things that had to be done. I mean, maybe save for a few things just so that he can like relax and rest and, and I'm tending to the baby's like immediate needs, but typically he's like gotten like everything done. So I was just feeling really appreciative of my husband today because I don't know and I, I don't even know and then <laughs> every now and then I will say something like oh this particular thing was so hard I don't I can't believe how so and so can do that particular thing and so the thing I usually say is oh my gosh how does a single mother do it so I thought about going shopping with a friend today and I thought well if I went shopping who's gonna help me with the like how am I gonna go alone my friend's gonna have to come get the stroller <laughs> How do single moms do it? I don't know, guys. I just had a lot of thoughts today. Maybe it's too much for a video. <sighs> so you remember my pen? Get back to art that I broke. Yeah, I dropped it on the floor. If you didn't see that video, I dropped it pen tip point first on my tile floor. And it just, like, completely flattened its little head. So I am attempting to use that pen, as you see here. While I contemplate how in the world single moms even shower, because I didn't shower. <laughs> so anyway, while I contemplate how single moms are able to do it day in and day out, power to you women. I have no idea. Um, and the daddies out there. I have no idea how my husband does it. So anyway, I am trying to draw this pen. You will see me struggle very much. So I thought it would be easier than it was. I hadn't doodled with it since I broke it. I just like signed my name and did a few little lines. It was really hard to control, and it was hard to, like, figure out the angle, like, how to hold it right. Um, I don't know how to describe what I mean, but because it was, like, bent, there was some strokes that couldn't be made, and I think I completely lost all control over the line, um, the line variations. Um, so that little skip in video was, I had to go tend to baby, and then I came back. And here we are trying the video again, uh, I mean the pen again. So, um, yeah, I really wanted this pen to work. Uh, like I had said, I think several times, this is like my favorite thing in this box. I really like the pen. But I think this might be the end of this pen that if I really want, I'm just going to have to buy one. But it was, you know, I made it work. I committed to using it. I needed a thin line. And I didn't, um, you know, I was up and down, up and down taking care of the baby. So I didn't really want to pull out the dip pen, um, because that's a little bit harder to, to leave and walk away from because it can dry out. And the one time I left it and dried out, it got really hard and crunchy and those two prongy things. Did someone tell me the name of them? I don't even know. The, top, the tip of the nib of the fountain pen had the two parts where it meets where it gets wide and narrow. When I left the pen out by accident, it got so dry, the ink that was on there, it kind of like stuck them together. So I didn't want to bother with that. Um, at this point in my doodle, though, I did pull out the markers because I thought... I really wanted it to look night tiny out behind our little trick-or-treater. Um, you know, I wanted to make sure that you could see he was running around at night. And so I didn't want to put lots of color, but I still wanted to be dark. And I wanted to make it clear that it was Halloween. There was a lot more color and detail I could have done. like, But again, I just described what my day was like. <laughs> I was just like, this needs to get done. Baby needs to cuddle, and baby needs to go to bed and get some rest, and so I just really worked towards finishing this up. So now I'm looking at it. I really might like to go back in and like tweak it a little bit. I didn't do any white highlights. I can add some stars. Um, I did nothing with that weird door that's kind of like hanging there. Um, but yeah, and then this like moment here, like <laughs> I smeared it. I smeared his eyeballs. Um, but you know what? I got through it, I got done, and most importantly, I got through the whole day with work and Inktober and baby. So, pretty, feeling pretty good about myself, and now, I'm going to go to bed. Good night, see you tomorrow, bye.